Good day everyone. Welcome to another video from Earth Detective. Today we are going to talk about a geomorphic feature which draws special attention towards itself in the field of earth science and for justifiable reasons. Let's start with a picture. What you can see here is the southeastern part of the Indian subcontinent and the shadowed part right here is a deltaic system called the Bengal Delta. What makes it interesting and unique is that firstly, it is the largest delta system in the world. Tectonic activities, huge sediment discharge and you Stacy have worked together in shaping this delta of such a unique size and sediment reserve. And secondly, the delta building process is still ongoing to this day, which is rather uncommon for the deltas of this size. On top of that, most of the morphological changes occurring now are of decade scale which means we might be able to observe the future of the delta in our lifetime. These continuous changes the delta is being subjected to ever since its inception are what we are going to discuss today. The evolution of the Bengal Delta, how it has evolved throughout geological time, and what it may evolve into in future. Due to the brief nature of our presentation, we will only focus on the major evolutionary events. To start, we head back to the Cretaceous time when Indian plate was the part of supercontinent Gondwana land in the southern hemisphere. Gondwana land began to break up about 110 million years ago, and the delta development was initiated immediately after the breakup. The Indian plate was continuously differing towards north. This rapid change in latitudinal setting due to continuous movement caused a low rate of sediment supply and a restricted drainage area of the initial delta complex known as Proto Delta. As we can see in the figure, the Indian plate ended up colliding with the Eurasian plate about 55 million years ago. Due to the collision, the Himalayan mountain range began to rise and rainfall increased. As a result, both the classic sediment and stream influx were enhanced. It drastically quickened the delta growth and contributed to the growth of Bengal deep sea fan. Up to this point, the delta was river dominated, but at this stage, the Indian plate rotated towards Southeast Asia which increased the depth of embayment of the Bay of Bengal and the delta became tide dominated. It is termed as transitional delta. To summarize, the abrupt morphological changes of the delta was a direct response to the collision and the rise of the Himalaya. The modern delta began to appear approximately 10.5 million years ago, although significant changes didn't occur until the quaternary period. About 120,000 years ago, at the beginning of the last ice age, the sea level started to fall slowly. At that time, the climate was relatively warmer. Rivers cut deeper into the existing landscape to form incised alluvial valleys, and the exposed sediments became weathered and oxidized. Rapid sea level fall occurred from 30,000 to 18,000 years ago. The climate became colder and drier, so the sediment influx was much less. 18,000 years ago, after the last glacial maximum, the sea level started to rise slowly, and a relatively significant sediment load was found. About 11,000 years ago, the monsoon climate resumed and it forced huge river sediment discharge. The sediments then filled up the incised valleys and deposited over the lowest and lateratic uplands. Rapid sea level rise continued and major aggradation took place until 7,600 years ago. 7,000 years ago, the rate of sea level rise slowed down and maximum transgression was reached. The delta changed from aggradational to progradational system. At that time, widespread dispersal of sediments across the coastal plain took place. The fluvial depocenter migrated seaward, and the delta growth continued on the shelf and shoreline. The Bengal Delta approached the current state about 5,000 years ago and started prograding seaward. As the Bengal Delta is still evolving and the world is becoming more prone to climate change and other anthropogenic effects, the Delta might witness some changes in the future. During the last 250 years, studies have confirmed that the morphology of the Delta is triggered by some controlling factors. Scientists have predicted that in the future, rainfall may increase in the monsoon season due to global warming, which may lead to an increase in river discharge and a sea level rise. These changes may prompt an increase in flood discharge, which may change the delta morphology significantly. Any flow or sediment change in the drainage area is another key factor that, we, that might affect the delta morphology. Land management, upstream intervention, agriculture practices may change the flow and sedimentary availability, which may further lead to the change of future Bengal Delta. Though we cannot say with absolute certainty what might be the future of the Delta, 
one thing we do know for sure is that it will continue to provide valuable information on how the morphology of the earth changes as time goes by. The Bengal Delta, with its remarkable evolutionary history, is an undeniable evidence of how dynamic the earth truly is. Thank you, everyone.